Hello viewers and welcome back to another episode of my put or some more Pokemon ranked wife battles with me, the one integral. I always fuck up that intro, don't I? Anyway, um yeah, we're back to some more Wi-Fi battles. I'm just gonna connect to the internet now and we'll just sort of get on with it, shall we? Now the team I originally said we at this episode we would use, you know, Shuckle, Sizor, and the other Pokemon we had, I can't remember. However, one of the one of those Pokemon is over on my X version, so I'm too lazy to bank it back over, so um I just put some more in. Uh, but we'll try and use Sizer and Shuckle today and see how well they work out. And um, obviously the other Pokemon we've added too will hopefully make a star and roll. But for the moment I'm just going to jump straight onto Battle Spot and we'll just get going with these battles I guess. So random matchup, rating battle. Um, yeah, so yeah, that's pretty much it. So as I said we've got Shuckle with Leftovers, Sizer with a Sizer right. I've also got Blaziken I've brought with a Life Orb just because um, some of my Pokemon I usually use are over on another game so I couldn't really use them could I? Now uh, we also got Choice Banded by Sharp, we've seen before, and <laughs> this is a Choice Scarf to Zoomerill. I don't know if it's actually good or not, I mean it allows us to use Waterfall, it's prior to Waterfall so it's my it's my usual Azumarill but um, I just gave it a Choice Scarf. Obviously if I was using a proper Choice Scarf Azumarill I probably wouldn't have an Aqua Jet on it, I'd probably have something else. Um, like a belly drum maybe, I'm not sure. Anyway, um, and then we've got Porygon 2 with Eevee Light at the bottom there, as you would assume. So, um, I think I'm just going to update... No, I, I, I don't know, someone notified me the other day that the, uh, the win-loss ratio or whatever is wrong on the right, wanked, wanked? The wanked Rifi battles, wow, I never heard of those. The battles, but I'm not sure. Um, okay, so we've got Eevee Light, Chansey. Venusaur, Mega Venusaur that be, possibly, I'm not sure. Um, Azumarill, Pro Choice Banded. Uh, then we have, what's that, uh, Bomber Snow, Nine Tails, and Bibarel. So, uh, two water types, two grass types, a fire type, and a normal type, or two normal types rather. Um, I'm going to start off with, I'm going to lead out with Azumarill actually. Uh, get that Choice Scarf work off. I'm going to bring Sizor too, since Sizor does actually take pretty, them out pretty well. Uh, apart from Nine Tails, and for Nine Tails, we will just take. Um, ooh, who wants to take for Nine Tails? Not Blazer can really, probably on two. So we got as if Nine Tails comes at first, we can just take it out of Azumarill if it chooses to stay in. It could if it's a drought. Nine Tails it could go for Solar Beam, but we'll just have to see, won't we, guys? We shall just have to see. So who is Brad sending out first? I wonder. Who is Brad? I think he might lead off with a Azumarill like me. However, remember we're Choice Scarfed, so we'll, we'll definitely be faster. Um, he might be Choice, but Bibarel comes out first. Interesting. Now we have Super Power, so I'm gonna go straight for that on this thing. I don't think they have any ghost types, so we're definitely going to hit off here. Azumarill superpower goes off, we're not choice banded, so that sort of gets rid of some of our power, but we still managed to wipe the Bibarel. Not quite sure, I'm guessing it's a moody Bibarel. <laughs> I'm guessing it is. Um, obviously we never got to see the mood swing into action. So, yeah, I don't know why else you would run a Bibarel unless you were trying to be funny with a moody one, but who knows. Who just, who just knows? I don't know. Our own as or his own Azumarill comes out, we're scarfed into, um, Superpower, so we can't do anything here. I'm not quite sure what they can use against us. Probably just play rough. So I'm going to go to Sizor to tank the hit. I could go to Porygon 2 as well, since you know, it's a tank, but I think Sizor's going to take the hit a bit better. So, let's see what we've got. We've got Bullet Punch as well, so that's going to do some decent damage since it'll go first. Then we have the Ice Punch, which we're going to resist still, which isn't too bad. I'm guessing they're Choice Banded now. Um, you know, most of them are the Choice Banded, so go for the Mega Evolution. I don't think they're going to switch out to be honest, um, especially if they're not choice banded, so I'm going to go for the U-turn actually. I'm not sure if we're faster or not, I'm pretty sure we're faster. Okay, they're withdrawing, uh, okay, that's actually a bad move on my part since Fairy resists um, Bug. But okay, Ninetales comes out, still going to resist Bug, it has Drought like I sort of predicted it to have. Um, we're going to Mega Evolve here, and then we're going to go for the U-turn, and I'll probably just switch straight back out to Azumarill again and go for a Waterfall, because obviously we're not choiced into Superpower anymore, which is good. U-turn goes off, and uh, that should be Nine Tails gone, or not not gone. I mean, <laughs> I mean that will be us back, so safe sort of thing. Oh, uh, I don't know. Yeah, to be honest, I don't want to go out to his in real because the sun's up, which is gonna weaken the power of my water type moves, aka you know I won't be able to kill it very easily. So I'm gonna deploy onto it, especially if it's got Solar Beam, because you know Nine Tails with Drought carry Solar Beam. So I'll send Porygon two out. And uh, we traced my drought, which, or we traced its drought rather, which isn't too helpful to be honest, since they they already have the sun up, and we don't have any fire types on our team. So let's see. 
Hmm, what can we do here? What can we do? I just guess we just have to go for the try attack because um, we get stabbed from that, whereas the Thunderbolt we don't get stabbed and it's not super effective. Confuse Ray on the nine, from the Nine Tails, lovely. Um, so what else have they got? They've got the uh, Azumarill and the Nine Tails left. Okay, we unfortunately didn't get the attack off there, which kind of sucked. Um, we're not, yeah, we're Eevee Light, we're not leftovers, just gotta remember that. They are leftovers, however, which kind of sucks. Hopefully we can get some sort of burn or you know, paralysis coming off with the tri attack here if we manage to hit this time. They're going for the will o wisp which is just going to you know, hurt us a bit because of the burn, but we are a special attacker anyway, so it's not too much of an issue. Confusion, and we have ourselves again. Not our luck, not our lucky day today, is it, guys? Not our lucky day at all. Um, as you would have noticed, guys, the bottom screen is now in place of the webcam. I mean, there was a very mixed response uh, for the webcam. Uh, like some people asking for the webcam, and some people asking for bottom screen. So I'm still undecided that I'm going to put the bottom screen there for now because it actually fits the space exactly, I think, which is awesome. Um, just lucky that my webcam is exactly the same size. And again, the... I guess we have to get recover now because we are almost going to die from that flamethrower and another burn. Um, so hopefully... We... Oh, another burn and a flamethrower and another burn. Um, so hopefully we can actually use this attack this time. We've, been... We've hit ourselves in confusion three times in a row, which really sucks. Flamethrower comes off again. Uh, let's see what we do. Uh, Don't manage to take us out. We snapped out confusion, and there goes the recover. Not bad at all. It's going to get us just over half because that's what recover does. I think I'll go for another recover. The sun's gone now, so they don't actually have the boost on flamethrower anymore, which means we're going to tank that even more. I'm going to go for another recover. They're probably going to get another flamethrower off, to be honest. Um, or oh, for feck's sake, confuser again. Wow, I hate confuser spams. So annoying. So yeah, we're just going to be having to hopefully recover. Come on, Porygon 2, you can do it. You can do it, Porygon 2. Come on, this is not its not my lucky day at all today, is it? I'm not sure if, I think, no, because the, the drought's not up anymore, so they can't actually take us out from this next attack, which is good. Um, so I can go for a recover here. If, well yeah, we will, we will survive the flame for it, I'm pretty sure. It's just whether we can actually use the recover this turn, and whether we'll just hit ourselves in confusion again. They were drawing nine tails, going out to Azumarill here, interesting. At least we can get a Thunderbolt off on it, actually, which should be nice. Should be nice indeed. Hopefully, we can use recover. Oh, come for the feck's sake! Wow. Ah, we haven't. We ah, uh, we haven't even broken through the confusion once. They're just going to take us straight out of an Aqua Jet here. So I'm going to go to my own Zumaro here and manage to tank that hit. I'm pretty sure, and then we'll be able to hit back with um, you know, uh, play rough most probably. So, let's see what we do here. Aqua Jet, yep, as predicted, even though, you know, Porygon 2 is pretty much useless anyway, because it's almost going to die from a burn now. We are going to have priority here, we can either go, well, they resist all our moves, however, I'm, they, I don't know, no, I don't think they're going to switch out to Ninetales here, because, you know, it's a water type, so I'm going to show if they play rough, because they're not going to resist, resist the play rough. Oh, they are switching out, brilliant. Yeah, you know, I was under the assumption they wouldn't slip, switch out because it was a freaking, um, a zoom reel, you know. But the drought comes out, it's a good thing we're using play rough rather than a waterfall because obviously they would be able to, the, the drought would reduce that effect. Let's see how much play rough does. Not a whole lot because of the fact that they resist it. So again, solar beam is coming this time. So I think I'm going to switch out to the almighty, not Sizor, because Sizor's just going to die to it. We are, yeah, I'm going to Porygon. Then we need to switch back into Azumarill and we can use, then use a choice scarfed waterfall. Because um, obviously play rough isn't going to do much here, so choice scarf is going to limit that there. I don't want to go out to Sizor because they might predict that switch and go for a flamethrower. Uh, we're tracing drought again, which isn't going to be helpful at all. <laughs> um, and confuse ray. Okay, we have the confuse ray, but it doesn't really matter anyway. So what's it carrying anyway? I mean, it's got flamethrower, confuse ray, will o wisp, and I'm guessing solar beam, but I'm not quite sure. Anyway, Porygon two is going to die from the burn here. And we're then going to switch out to Azumarill. We'll get the the. Uh, we can get for a superpower actually, rather. I don't know. How much does the sun reduce the water's effect by? I need to go and check that out quickly. Because um, then we could use waterfall, which would still be more powerful than um, Pokemon. Pokemon Sun. Sunny day. Let's go for that. Hopefully, we can get this in 45 seconds. Okay. Sunny day move. Hurry up, please. Wow, my internet sucks. <laughs> I'm going to download something in the background. So, um, 
Sunlight. Okay, and the sunlight will brighten now. Okay, effects, effects, effects. Decreases power of water, that means over 50%. So we're going to get the two times effectiveness off because of the waterfall. Um, that's going to be reduced again by the, uh, no, by the thing. So waterfall. Okay, superpower it is. No, oh, go for it quickly. Seven, six, superpower it is. Whoa, that was close. We are faster because of choice scarf. Superpower is more powerful overall because of the higher power. I'm not going to take it out there, however, though, which kind of sucks. Our attack fell, our defense fell, and here comes the solar beam. No will o wisp. And we avoided the attack. Not bad at all. I'm not sure if this next superpower will actually take it out there, however, because of the fact that we had an attack drop, but we can always try. We can always try. No idea when. Well, protect, of course. Well, it's not actually going to make a difference to us because nothing's going to happen this turn, is it? Nothing's going to happen this turn at all. Um, apart from leftovers, actually, yeah. That's the only thing. They probably can survive this next hit because the attack drop. But we'll just have to see, won't we? We will just have to see. It's a very... It's half and half, pretty much. I've no, no idea why they're using Solar Beam. Um, I'm assuming they have freaking Solar Beam, because it's a sunset. Will-O-Wisp, wow. And we can just get the last... Okay, they're going to protect again, yeah. But we can get the last superpower off in a second. Sunlight's gone as well, which isn't too bad. Uh, they get some more leftovers damage, but they won't be able to survive the next one, even with another one after that too, I think. Um, that's obvious they're going to protect next turn, so I could, I mean, what's Scizor's speed looking like here? 95, whereas Azura is 81, so, I mean, we might be able to outspeed it, I'm not quite sure. Our moves are, I mean, we could use Aerial Ace or Pursuit on that. I mean, if they were going to switch out there, Pursuit would be a good call, but, oh, I don't know... I guess we'll stay in anyway, just get, they'll get some more things. The annoying thing is we're going to run out of superpowers now because the protect is going to come up. Um, I'm guessing at least, yeah, there's no protect, there's the protect. Um, we're going to use our last superpower here because they're stalling us, which is really annoying. I need to get some PP ups on them, I, th I think it carries through the battle spot, I'm not sure though. So we can no longer use um, superpower because that's that. So we now have to use... Struggle! Yay! Struggle, struggle for the win! Woohoo! They're withdrawing nine tails because they know, know we're going to struggle now, most probably. Sending out their own Azumarill here. Okay. Azumarill has no moves left. Azumarill use struggle! Brilliant. It's not doing anything at all. And we're just hurting ourselves, so. Yep. Especially with the burn, it's not going to do anything. I mean, we can. Um, I'm just going to keep Azumarill in for fodder here. Because I, I don't want to switch out to Sizor, fearing whatever they're going to use, um, hitting my Sizor pretty hard. So we're just going to kill ourselves. Not bad at all. <laughs> Not bad at all. I need to get some PP ups and PP max on it, because that would have saved me there. Ice Punch is coming out. Not too bad. I'm guessing they're Choice Scar, uh, Choice Banded, Choice Slash Choice, or Choice Banded, most probably. So I'm guessing they're going to switch out to Nine Tails here, which gives us a, a nice opportunity to use an Aerial Ace. On the nine tails, oh no, they're not switching out. Interesting. Okay, we get the uh, aerial ace off. It's not doing much at all. Our ice punch is going to do the same as it did then. Hopefully, it doesn't freeze us. That would good suck. No, it did not indeed. Um, we can go. Yeah, they resist all the moves apart from aerial ace, which really sucks. Um, Azumaro does tank this spring pretty hard. So I'm guessing we should go for another aerial ace. Off it goes. This fight is going to go down to the last man. Ah, oh, citrus berry. No. Oh, no, wait, maybe not. Oh, yeah, it is. No, yeah, it is stitched very well. Okay, we might be able to take it out with the last um, area lace here. I mean, I'm, what does Mega Size or have as an ability? I can't even remember. Summary, it is technician. It is technician, okay. So, area lace has 60, 70, 40, 40. I I'm not sure what they are. I'm guessing it's 60. So, I'm just going to have another area lace here. I mean, if it's 59, Aqua Jet, okay, fair enough. It's probably doing more damage than it was doing anyway. Yep, Aerial Ace comes off, might kill it, I'm not quite sure. Yep, dead, awesome. Could still win this, I'm not quite sure. Technician Pokemon. I want to see what base power moves it um, boosts up. Or what base power moves it lower. Uh, we can now use a quick uh, U turn. No, we, I think we're faster. If we're faster, we've won. If we haven't, uh, 60 or less. So yeah, it does power up Aerial Ace. Okay, awesome. Go for the Aerial Ace. Uh, if we're faster, we'll take... Oh, it's faster! Why? 
I don't think Bullet Punch would have taken it out anyway, so I don't think we really had a chance there, which really sucked. Um, if if we had more, yeah, if we had more people PP on my Azuma, we would have won that match, but we don't. So I need to get PP Maxes in from uh, the Global Link and use them to get all my moves up to max. So we lost one battle there, which kind of sucked. Anyway, let's get into another battle. Do not let our spirits be disheartened. Let's go. Maybe we can use Shuckle here. Maybe. I mean, Azura, um, Sizer was a bit as it was at a bit of a disadvantage there because the two Pokemon that were left, excluding Bibero, um, it didn't. Yeah, they both tank it pretty much. So, okay. So this person has a rating of one four eighty. Ours is one four two two. So. <laughs> They're carrying a Garchomp, a Charizard, a Klefki, a Jolteon, a Scizor, and a Venusaur. So a very common team, I guess. I see these guys a lot. So, I mean, Shuckle is going to get out to Garchomp very easily. Uh, Scizor it's going to get out to Charizard easily. Uh, Blaziken can take out, not Venusaur, really. <laughs> um, uh, it's taking Scizor there. Bye, Sharp. Um, okay, I'm going to take Barshop in first. Azumarill can take out actually a good few of them, so I'm going to take Azumarill in two. And then I'm going to take in, I don't want to take Sizor in because it really just doesn't have much against that team. So I'm going to take in Blaziken. So Blaziken has Life Orb rather than the Mega Stone, so hate me. Hate me, guys. Or, you know, worship me because I'm not using the Mega Blaziken. Okay. Is, I think, yeah, normal Blaziken's banned to Ubers as well, isn't it? That's just crazy, because really, without Omega, it's not as powerful, to be honest. It can easily be countered. Hopefully, Garchomp doesn't come out first, because that would absolutely suck. Klefki comes out first, that's fair enough, because Klefki is a set-upper. set upper Okay, so we can go for... It's going to resist all the moves, um, to be honest. Actually, no, wait, Iron Head will do super effective damage! Reflect however it goes up. Which kind of sucks because I think I brought all physical attackers. Uh, see how much Iron Head does here because it's not gonna actually it's gonna yeah, take new damage from it rather. Steel on steel. Oh no wait, switched out its eject button. Not bad. I'm guessing. Okay, when he gets hit by an attack, it switches out automatically. That's, that's a good. Um, it's a good strategy actually to be honest. Because then you can obviously this guy can switch out to his Charizard straight away. So we've got Azumarill and Blaziken too. They're all physical attackers, which as I said, it sucks. So I'm guessing a fire type attack is coming, so I'm going to assume to try and tank this pretty hard. We'll just have to see how much it does, because um, I can't really easily go to Blaziken, because it will resist it, but Azumaro is more bulky. Charizard X, ooh, not bad. Not bad at all, means we can get a nice either start, a neutral play rough or a neutral waterfall off. Obviously I'd like it more if it was a Charizard Y, because we can get a super effective waterfall off there, but unfortunately... That doesn't really work. I'm uh, just going to check the base power moves. 90, 80. So yeah, definitely going for a play rough here. Um, because that's the way it works. I mean, we could... Yeah, no, we get stab from play rough, whereas we don't from super power, so, rather. So play rough comes off. Well, hopefully we can hit it, because it sometimes misses. No, we got it off. Let's see how much damage we do. Oh, what the hell? What is this? Attack fell, which is good. It's raising its attack again, so yeah. Really, it boosted its speed, but that's all it did. Uh, we might still be faster because of the Choice Scarf. Why did we do nothing there? Why? Is Charizard X like some sort of, sort of crazy, like, tank thing? I don't know. <laughs> Shouldn't die to that. Nope, we do not. Play Rough comes off again. Okay, just over half. Uh, by Sharp Blades can we can't. We have no safe switches here, so all I can do is give him a Play Rough because we're Scarfed. And that is that. That is that. Once we're dead. Yep, there we are. There we are indeed. Okay, so what can we do here? Who is the fastest? I mean, reflects now. Okay, let's reflect. Idiot. I'm such an idiot. Okay, so re who's the fastest? Most probably Blaziken. Yep, Blaziken's fastest. What moves does it have? High jump, kick, earthquake, flare blitz. We can go for the high jump kick. Uh, oh no, we can go for the earthquake, can't we? Because it's not a flying tap anymore. That's awesome. Um, and we'll get some nice super effect damage off there. It has raised its speed though, so it could be faster than us. It probably is actually, because uh, basically it's not all that fast in the first place. But we shall see. Um, we shall see indeed. I'm getting, yeah, I think they're faster because of this, the Dragon Dance they got off. Yeah, they're faster. Oh, they're using Dragon Dance again. Interesting, okay. Um, I don't know what they're predicting us to have, maybe. I'm not sure. I hope I can hit it with an Earthquake. 
Yeah, because it's not a flying type anymore. The earthquake goes off and takes it out. So they were being too greedy there with the other dragon dance and try to go for the earthquake. Well, yeah, they were going to go for dragon dance and the earthquake, but they should have just gone for the earthquake in the first place because that would have taken away the kind of atmosphere probably. So bad choice on their part. So. <laughs> Um, Garchomp comes out last. Interesting, okay. So we're, we're life orb, we're not choice, so we can go for whatever we want here. I um, am going to go for a high jump kick. Hopefully we can hit this. We do indeed. And it wipes out in one critical hit. Not bad at all. Rough skin, we don't give a damn. Okay, Klefki is still around, yeah, but Flare Blitz will take that thing out in one, so. Not bad at all. Okay, rough skin and life orb damage goes off. Speed boost again. This is like basically it's banned actually, in um, or it's banned to Ubers rather. I mean, it's not extremely hard to kill, it's just, you know, if you let it set up on you, like this guy's sort of let, him, let it let happen, um, you're screwed. So we'll get the uh, priority, well, they'll get the priority Toxic or Thunder Wave off, I'm guessing, uh, if it's carrying, I'm guessing Thunder Wave, because Toxic's not going to try and prevent me from doing anything, whereas the Thunder Wave will try, or may possibly get me paralysed. I'm guessing there's a priority, ref or Reflect, maybe. Uh, might say, but nope, match was forfeit. Wow. Okay, they raged against Blaziken. It wasn't even Mega Blaziken. I mean, come on. Come on. If they just gone for the Earthquake on that Mega Charizard X, they would have won the match, most probably, but no. They didn't. Okay, we'll have one more battle here. Uh, and we'll see how we get on. We'll see how we get on indeed. Let's have a drink. Oh, we'll see. We haven't seen Shuckle. We haven't seen. Actually, yeah, it's just Shuckle we haven't seen. Awesome. Maybe we can try and use them now. Our rating's going up to 1441, which is not bad at all. Um, we shall just see what our opponent's rating will be. Hopefully something nice. <laughs> Hopefully something nice. Uh, 1532. Oh, we got a positive person. Oh, I'm guessing, yeah. I'm guessing 1500 is like the middle. Countless gone. Oh, dear. Oh, dear lord. Um, get a Greninja. Or a Gengar. <laughs> um, Exodrill, Noivern, Mandibuzz, and Breloom. Okay. So Shuckle, um, obviously is going to tank the majority of them. I mean Greninja is not going to tank very easily, neither is um, Extra Geo to be honest. And Balloon maybe too, with a fighting type attack, or you know, something else. Um, Scizor, not going to have a huge amount there. Azumarill as a, as a lead would be Superpower, um, might be faster than Greninja, I'm not sure. Superpower, play rough, Superpower, or in Waterfall on it, Extra Geo rather. Play rough. Play rough, play rough. Wow, Azumarill is leading this by a by a region. Oh, there, I don't know region. I don't know. I don't know. By sharp, uh, it's not going to be too helpful, I think. And I take Sizor in this time so we can Mega it. I'm going to take Blaziken in too because Blaziken's got some good strengths against like Balloon, Excadrill, Kangaskhan, um, and that's pretty much it. Yeah. <laughs> or oh, you know, if it gets a jump on Greninja, which it never does, but we can see. Or if you know, if we get some speed boost off of Blaziken. We might be able to outspeed Greninja there. But let's see who our opponent is choosing to use. I mean, they're probably going to bring uh, the Kangaskhan because it's going to be Mega. The good thing is I've chosen three Pokemon that all have strengths against it, I think. I mean, Azumarill, Blaziken, and Sizor. Sizor doesn't have anything particularly, but it, it might be um, good. We might just be able to do some decent damage, who knows? Because of Technician. But we'll see. We shall see. Okay, so Japanese guys issuing a challenge. Okay, who is going to face my Azum real first? I mean, the only problem we might face is. Um, okay, Noivern's coming out first. It is a fast Pokemon. However, um, it, it now knows we're Choice Scarfed, so it's most probably going to switch out to. I'm predicting Extra Drill if they've got it. I mean, um, other switches, I mean, with Takangaskan, but. Okay. I'm just still going to go for the play rough. So I'm guessing a switch out here because they know we're Scarf and they might, we might be faster than them. So I'm guessing a switch out, um, but I don't want to, you know, I don't want to be cheeky and go for like a, a superpower or a waterfall rather. Go for a switcheroo. Okay, what item do we get here? Choice specs, which kind of sucks for us, but oh well. Uh, what the frick? What the frick? Okay, so it's definitely faster us now, um, and we have to give player off still because we're still choice. Brilliant. Uh, Air slash is coming down. They've lost their choice specs, which is good for us, because we tanked that hit better. We missed the play rough on the first turn, which is sucks, because that would have been better. If, if we had missed it on the first turn, then we had taken them out in one, um, you know, and that, that would have been it. That would have been it. 
Yeah, that that would be Noivern gone. However, we missed it, so they managed to get an air slash on us. They now know we're choiced into um play rough, but we might still be fast in this room. No, they're faster and it's gonna take us out because of technician most probably. Yep, that thing's taken us out by far. Oh, I thought Ezra would be faster. If we still had the choice Garth, we would be faster, but we're not. So, um, I didn't think Balloon's that fast, to be honest. Anyway, okay, so we can then send out... I'm going to send out... I mean, we can go to anyone, particularly. Um, so I'm going to go to Sizor here. Gonna Mega Evo it and go for the Air Slash. I mean, there wasn't really anything that could tank an Air Slash, to be honest, on the other team. So, they are most probably either just going to switch and take some damage from it. Or die. Pretty much. Pretty much. So, uh, okay, they're not switching out. They're not switching out. Interesting. They might be going for something like a sub focus punch set. Or just going for a bullet seed and see how much that does. Spore! No! I fucking hate you! Uh, I fucking hate Breloom. Why is it so fucking fast? Is it Choice Garth, really? Okay, well, this is pissing me off now. Um, who is our other Pokemon? Blaziken. And, you know, they could just easily abuse the sleep cores, or not even use the sleep cores. So I'm guessing they're subbing and, um, subbing and then focus punching. No, they're withdrawing, interesting. Probably to Kangaskhan. I'm guessing it's Kangaskhan. Yep, it's Kangaskhan. How did I guess that? Well, it's easy to guess because everyone uses <laughs> Kangaskhan. I don't know, I don't know, I think I met it once before. I'm not quite sure though. Who's our last Pokemon again? Blaziken. Yes, okay, I don't. Ah, oh, fuck. I was. Uh, I want to. Uh, I didn't. Uh, I was thinking about switching out to Blaziken, but no. They are Mega Evolving now, Kangaskhan. It's probably going for a double power up punch now, which is going to just demolish us after this, so. We have no chance of winning this. No chance in hell. Um, power up punch, yep, there it goes. Mm, I don't know how, no, it's not going to do any damage at all. Um, well, might do some more now because the attack's risen. And the attack's risen again. I mean... We woke up, yes, and we got the U-turn off. Okay, so at least we now switched down to Blaziken. We are going to be faster than Blaziken because Blaziken's, you know, fast. We actually did some decent damage there, so we can go for a... Oh, I don't know what to go for. Do I go for the high jump kick and risk missing it, or do I go for the flare blitz? Because I'm not sure if it'll take it out or not with the flare blitz. Um, ooh, screw it, we'll go for the high jump kick. Screw it. Ah, they're going for the earthquake, we know that much. They shouldn't be fast on us though, because this Kongo's gun isn't even that fast. He has to bring a baby with him as well. Wow, sucker punch, of course. Ah, freaking hate that move. It's not going to take us out there. Uh, I might just... Oh, no way, of course, Sucker Punch didn't take us out. I, f I thought for some reason, if Sucker Punch hit you, you flinched, but no, I was wrong there. So we managed to take out Mega Kangaskhan. We're going to take some life or damage. We're going to get a speed boost off, and that make should make us faster than the Balloon. And we should then be able to uh, actually take out the Balloon with a Flare Blitz. Although it will, it will kill Blaziken, but Blaziken can take one for the team. He's a team player. He is a team player. Get that Flare Blitz off. And hopefully we're faster. What the frick? I call the Mac Punch. Uh, technician's going to kill us. Yep, indeed it did. Okay, so we know exactly what's coming off uh, against Sizor. A fucking spore. That's what's going off. Um, so all we can do really is use a priority move because that's all we can do. Otherwise, he's just going to kill us for something. Um, pursuit. There's no point in using Pursuit. They're not going to switch out. U turn. No point using that really. I'm guessing Bullet Punch is my only option, just to get some more damage off before they put us to sleep. It's the only thing I can do, unless they go for a Mark Punch, which would be stupid, because the only way they're going to win this is with a Spore, because we could easily take them out of an area later this turn, for all they know, because um, that's, that's what we sort of tried last turn. So we'll see how much damage a Bullet Punch does. Hopefully it does a fair bit, but I'm not quite sure. I mean, we don't know what item it's holding either, do we? Yeah, Bullet Punch goes off. So they're not using Mark Punch, and it's probably using Spore. Yep, there's a Spore. Does over half damage, which is good news for us, because it means we can just, you know, we can just Bullet Punch, Bullet Punch until we wake up, and that'll take him out. So, I guess we should spam Bullet Punch, and they're going to start setting up, probably. Um, what have they got? Spore, Mark Punch. So, probably not Focus Punch set, to be honest. Not not Sub Focus. Um, I'm guessing just, yeah, it's a Technician set, so I'm guessing, you know... Bullet Seed as well. I think we've seen Bullet Seed already, so I don't know what the last move is, but hmm. Hum, 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 hum. Okay, so we won't wake up this turn most probably, but it's whether they can take us out in two or three turns. 
We are fast asleep, so we can't use our bullet punch. And they go for Stone Edge. Oh dear lord, no! Okay, we'd, we'd attack that pretty well, because obviously Steel resists it. So we can take another of those hits at least, unless it's a crit. Um, we can take two more, I think, unless they're crits. Or this one's crit, rather. So we should be alright, even if we might wake up this turn. Or we might, might wake up next turn. Either one will be alright, I think. Um, and they're probably going to go for another Stone Edge, I'm guessing now. Uh, and they are... Nope, we didn't wake up this turn, so I'm guessing it's next turn we're going to wake up. If it's not, bad luck for us. Stone Edge comes out again. As predicted, we can take another of those, I think. Um, but regardless, we're going to bullet punch now. Hopefully we wake up now. Hopefully we do. If we do, we win. If we don't, we could lose. So, it's all about Sizel waking up. Come on, Sizel, you can do this. You can do it, Sizel. You're a beast. You're a beast. You're a beast. Come on, do it. Do it, Sizel. Do it, Sizel. Get a nice, clean wake up. Do it. Do it. Now. Nope. Fine. Mark punch. Okay. Try and get some more damage off. Oh, he's about to have points. Ah, oh, because they knew we were going to wake up this turn and want to get the priority off. Um, and they did, but we survived it just about. And Sizor owned them. So Sizor for MVP, surviving all those hits when it was dead, or when it was asleep. Sorry, when it was dead, <laughs> when it was asleep rather. So guys, that concludes this episode of my ranked. Oh, I said episode again. I don't want fucking episodes. This, include, this concludes this video, no, this concludes this set, I guess, of Pokemon Ranked Wi-Fi Battles. Two wins and a loss, so not bad today, not bad at all. So guys, I hope you enjoyed watching today's video, I indeed did. I'll be seeing you all next time, thanks for watching guys, goodbye my friends.